welcome to episode three of Vlogmas. So today I'm just doing a spend the day with me. Um, I'm currently in my office. I did have breakfast earlier on. I just had some porridge, the sour porridge I told you guys about, and the one I bought for my mom. So I'm just in my office now. I want to get started with work because I do have something that needs to go out today so yeah i want to quickly do that and then you know um let's see where the day takes us um i'll see what i get up to a bit later on there are things that i want to get done so i'll bring you guys along when i do those things but above it all, I just wanted to come in and say welcome to another episode of Loveless. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one as well. Um, and if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much for um, helping me grow this channel. It means the world to me. And if you like the video, please do like it. Like, make sure you hit the thumbs up icon on your YouTube. And so that, you know, my videos can get recommended to many more people. Um, pretty much today, it's just going to be a chill day. So obviously, because I'm trying to film as frequently as possible, my vlogs are just going to be shorter. Uh, but I'm just hoping you're going to enjoy them either way. Um, I'll try to at least, you know, not go below seven minutes. <laughs> Uh, with vlogging and yeah other than that guys um i'll see you guys a little bit later on i just wanted to come in and welcome you uh i do need to be started with work so i'm gonna chat a little bit later on so um it's currently five o'clock and i just knocked off i wanted to come in guys and show you some of the things that i got from Legs. I got them a while ago. Um, I think during the Black Friday sale. Um, ja, yeah, during the Black Friday sale. So I just want to show them to you now before we I get out of the office and then go relax a bit. So the first thing that I bought is this hat. So it looks similar to the one that I use for my morning walks. So I thought having two would be nice and this I can use them use this one for different occasion. Really love this the fact that it, it's not in clothes called demo. Um yeah, I do enjoy that quite a bit. I also got some body products from the brand I love. I love Palmer's um Palmer's product so much. I I like since I started using the, the oil during my pregnancy, I think I always find a way to gravitate towards them so much. So I am trying out this lotion. Um, I think I can I live three days while using this one and I just love how it goes on my skin. It's just amazing. And I also paired it, I'm pairing it with this oil. I've been using Pama oils um, for some time, but this is a different type. Um, it's more affordable and it comes in a bigger size than the ones that I've been using. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be using those. And then, the star of the show, guys. I am so happy about this one. Um, I got... got myself a perfume this is by the brand elizabeth Eden. it is the sunflowers it's an edt perfume so i'm happy about this um i got this from the 30 percent off black friday special at clicks i think i paid 400 rand instead of 630 because the normal price for this is normally 630 so yeah uh, i think i love it i'm not gonna open it here because i still want to do an unboxing on instagram 
for my like i want to shoot the reel while unboxing this one but yeah i'm so happy about this so yeah i'm i'm working on the collection i think this is my second one hi loves um it's later on in the day and i just got my delivery i ordered a bit from hypo and i also got a fridge as well um, from the same company so these things i'm not going to open them because they are going to they are my hanging basically um it will cheer the shock on why so i just decided to be because um there's someone i know who is taking their things home so i thought hurry you know had it some mega mocha so yeah i could have bought bought them that side but i i guess i decided to buy them the side and then take them uh with because you did in chapter legit in chick sonje kidi sheka kwai i am currently cooking um supper for us i'm not going to take you guys along um as i do the cooking cuz yeah i'm just making pop and meat basically but i do want to tidy up this office space so can you wait for time and if i'm bringing energy you understand and you like see we um or it look a bit tidy man <laughs> let me show you guys anyway for the time a lot of the mo ho ho la bona ngi so nya go puta this table and there's a lot of things j well these make lot of touch on us so that's why they but so like documents and stuff and make up brushes doing your jump photo oh we just want to rest and hi beautiful people um welcome to another day of this vlog um, i just made myself some lunch and i'm just going to have that i did have an early morning um today i had a very early meeting so i had to wake up early prepare for it and then attend the meeting and once that was done i then decided to take a bath and just look a little bit decent for the day um so yeah currently i'm just going to have my lunch and continue with the work so that i can 
um, submitted today and then tomorrow I can focus on something different. So, this is my lunch for today. I have some watermelon, some other snacks on the side and then obviously lunch in that lunch box. So in this lunch box there's food that we had last night and obviously some water. So that's basically about it for now. Um, I think I'll keep you guys a little bit later on. I think around in the evening. I'm not sure what's going to be happening in the evening but we'll see what we get up to because yesterday I did find something interesting to do and that was to clean my office space and I decided to change the, the orientation of my desk um, so that it faces the window. So before it faced this wall um, and I felt like it's taking up a lot of space because it's wider um, than it's long. I don't know if that makes sense. So changing it to face the window has left me with that amount of space, <laughs> like quite a lot and also in that direction as well. So I, I could literally dance in the space. <laughs> If I was a ballerina, I'll be here. Dancing my heart out. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy, obviously. And there are things that I would rather not have them on display, like my baby stroller, the hoover, the gas heater, and a couple of things on this corner as well. That I would rather not have them on display like they are apparently. But since we don't have a cabinet to shove all of that in, they're going to stay the way they are. Uh, but what I do appreciate is that they are out of the way, sort of, and I still have this to work with. Um, just to give you some perspective, remember, you guys used to see this behind me when I'm sitting and my chair used to be just there um, and then the desk was facing that other direction so currently I put it against this um, cabinet space so that I can face the outside so yeah I'm happy about that so much I'm just going to work and eat as well as upload a vlog um i edited the vlog last night and finished it so it's a matter of just uploading it and then you guys are going to have a vlog today we're around four latest depending on how quick it uploads You're eating now? Yeah. What is it? In the United States, we think of sugar. We found out here in Carolina, Maxie's father put out a bounty on the heads of the oven. to the, another day of this vlog so it's basically the next day and I just wanted to um, do my morning skincare routine with you guys uh, while I give you a Skin Republic um, review I feel like I owe you guys a review because I showed you the serums um, when I bought them for the first time and I've been trying out for I think two and a half months now and I think I have use them enough to say something about them. I just want to give you guys a review about them in, in case it's something that you want to try so that you have an idea of what you're getting into. So I don't have much time. I'm going to try to do this in five minutes. So I already washed my skin and you guys know that my daytime 
um, skincare routine is very simple. I just use a serum, which is this niacinamide serum, um, the Ole moisturizer, and then SPF. That is literally all that I do on a daily basis to care for my skin. So this serum is from the Skin Republic. It says it has 10% niacinamide and 1% zinc. So I have to say about the niacinamide ingredient in this um, serum, I have to say that it is working. <laughs> when I started using this product, um, I did have quite a bit of hyperpigmentation that I'm realizing now it's fading. So I would say that the, the niacinamide, the promise of the niacinamide in the serum works, right? Um, it works one that I have to say that. So if you're somebody who is looking to get a serum that can help with hyperpigmentation, um, this is definitely that serum. And I say this because some of the popular brands that I've tried that promise to deal with hyperpigmentation have not worked for my skin. I will not be naming brands, but yeah. Um, to say that this one works well, it's a big deal for on my side. Um, with that said, however, I do have my own reservations about the serum. The one thing that I really don't like would that may be enough for me not to go back and buy another bottle and continue using it is the flakiness and the white cast that I notice after applying the serum. So I'm not somebody who wants to keep on checking her face like every single minute um, to see whether everything is in order and with the serum I find myself doing that because during the day I would notice that you know my skin is flaking off um, even when I apply it pear direction it says that you must leave on your skin uh, to absorb you must leave it to absorb or to dry yeah so the direction says apply a few drops of serum to your face and neck wait for a minute for the serum to absorb it says that um but i find that even when i do that i do find myself um um experience you know noticing the the flake the white flakiness the serum does take a while to absorb into your skin. I think that's why they say give it a minute. And trust me, it is a literal minute. <laughs> because if you don't do that, you can feel that it has not absorbed. You can, the texture of your skin, you can literally feel that mm -mm, this air that I felt that instant this area is not absorbed. But here, absorption is complete. You can literally feel it when it's not completely absorbed on your skin. This is not absorbed. It's, it feels a little bit more tight and when you touch your skin grips instead of gliding. I do love the niacinamide ingredient if I have to be honest. I think it's the first ingredient that I came across that really helped me in terms of hyperpigmentation uh, as well as battling my acne. Um, I can't go to the science of how and why it works for me, but it really does. Because the first uh, product that I ever used that really helped me a great deal was this one and it has niacinamide in it. And that is why I reached out for a product that has a trusted ingredient because even though I'm at a stage where I'm open to trying out new products, I'm very cautious about the type of products that I try on my skin um, and the type of ingredients I try on my skin because I'm not trying to get back to a place where my skin uh, is breaking out again. I don't let this absorb, honestly. Once that is done, I will go in with my sunscreen. And yes, I do use the kids one <laughs> for reasons that I've shared before on this channel. You see that? That is the serum. 
it is not the media that I just put on. It's not the sunscreen that I just put on. So it is the, the serum. It does this, which I don't actually love at all. I am not for it. <laughs> so sometimes you would just um, apply your things in layers, like your products in layers, and then that happens. Um, and I'm saying this, it is the serum because I have been using all of these products for years. And the uh, moisturizer, the sunscreen, and I have never experienced this. And I've been using a serum, I've been using the Body Shop um, serum, and I have never experienced this with the Body Shop serum. So that tells me it is the serum. So this is the flakiness that I've been talking about. So if you're not careful, you'll find yourself having that on the whole day on your skin and people will be looking at you like, child. So the second serum that I was trying out from Skin Republic is this one. The one, it's the Pure Retinol 0.2 Pissing Serum. So this serum, I would layer it with my L'Oreal cream uh, in the evening. And my impression on the serum is that the oils in the serum works amazing because it does have um, a, a oil mix. And that works amazing uh, in terms of refining your skin texture you can even feel um, your skin texture change as you apply it and i attribute that basically to the oils because uh, i have used some retinol products before and i didn't get that you know also um because i am prone to acne um i can't really use it every day i find that on uh occasions when i've used it day after day for for a prolonged use i do get a breakout one or two but um you know nothing severe i find that when I'm, i skip a day um it works perfectly for me because i don't get um, any of those uh um I don't get any breakouts when I do that. So I have been using this four times a week instead of every day. So if you are somebody who is, you know, who has been through the battle of acne and uh, are afraid to use a serum with oil, um, this one works well. You don't have to be afraid of it. Obviously, you need to not use it as often as you would um you know some other serum that does not contain oil it it works really amazing um when we when it comes to retinol however i don't think there's much retinol here <laughs> and this is basically me speaking from a background of using up to five percent three to five percent retinol on my skin and knowing how retinol makes my skin feel because if i use either three percent i'm not sure if different is three percent or five percent i'm not sure don't come for me for or for that but it's somewhere there um when i use different it i could really feel my skin become more sensitive to external radicals it becomes more sensitive to the sun you can ev even to products that you use on your skin you can feel that okay there's a, a little bit of tingling sensation um and that is due to retinol making your skin um a bit more sensitive um so this one if you are somebody who is looking to get all the benefits that comes with using um, um, an ingredient like retinol I don't think there's much in there honestly so if you want to you know lean more into the benefits of retinol I do recommend that you try the Skin Republic 1% because uh, they do have the pure retinol in 1% for their serum I am still going to try that out and see 
if the retinol does something for me for um using um with that one percent um pure retinol serum that they have so i'll try that out i'll let you know guys however i would say that if you are somebody with naturally sensitive skin and you've been been hearing a lot of people rave about retinol and you want to try it out i do suggest that you try this out instead of the one percent because if your skin is already sensitive you do not want to make it worse you know so this would work best for you so for me i will personally not be buying the serum with the 0.2 percent retinol moving forward i am willing to try out the one percent and determine if that would work for me uh better because i do want to um capitalize on the benefits of retinol you know so i will continue using this um uh, until this bottle finishes because i do love the serum the serum is amazing so i do highly recommend it but for those reasons that i've provided i want to try something else so i hope guys this has provided you some perspective in terms of what to expect when it comes to skin republic uh serums especially the ones i've discussed in this video oh, do remember i'm not a dermatologist I'm just providing insight in terms of my experience with the products. And um, yeah, do your research if you want to try them out um, for yourself. And if they work for you, great. If they don't, change. Simple as that. I do want to quickly take a thumbnail. so that is for my thumbnail um for this vlog so i think that's about it that i wanted to share with you in terms of these products um i think this will mark the end of the video i hope you're going to enjoy this one and if you do please do give it a thumbs up and um subscribe if you haven't subscribed i hope you guys are enjoying the vlogmas to be honest um, I do feel the difference in terms of how I'm filming Vlogmas and, and how I filmed Vlogtober. I think with Vlogtober, I was, you know, in it to win it. So, but we will get my spirit up for Vlogmas as well so that I can provide you guys with great content. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. I hope you're going to see. So this is my outfit of the day because I am, even though I'm indoors, I am working from home and I do want to look a little bit cute. I think this looks, um, I think it looks cute. It's just leggings from Pick and Pay. This is from, I want to say H&M, this top. And then this bra is from Shein um so yeah that's how i've been looking like for the whole day i did do quite a bit of work um today so when i filmed the first part it was in the morning and i'm only filming this part in the afternoon i just knocked off so this is how i've been looking like the whole day and i think i like it i think i'm gonna start dressing up a bit because even though you know this is just basic but it looks it looks styled you know uh it's very different from how i've been showing you guys you know <laughs> because ah it's not a shame <laughs> so i'm i feel like i'm in this in the space where i feel like i can put a little bit of effort into how i look like even though when i'm working uh, from home uh, obviously when i'm working from the office baby i'm just going to dress up right <laughs> but when i'm working from home sometimes i feel like i can get away with it um but recently i have been feeling 
completely different uh, and that is because I just want to present myself a little bit different and that is what's happening internally uh, in me currently just to present myself a little bit different and I'm glad that I've been showing you that because that's where I was uh, just showing up as me and looking all sorts of me <laughs> and only now in December I am feeling like you know what I want to look a little bit better on a daily basis I just want to dress up a bit even though I'm indoors you know motala should be gown and all of that and even when I'm vlogging even if it just means throwing some basic thing uh, outfit like this one that I have on uh, it just looks elevated uh, than what I've been wearing in my opinion <laughs> and I've been just doing a lot of reflection and looking at whether some of the things work for me that I, I have going on or are these things that I want to switch up a bit so that I just improve on them and uh, the consensus currently is make improvements and the improvements we shall make um, and one of them is just looking a little bit put together when we're indoors and yeah i'll share with you guys i think my last um episode for vlogmas is going to be about how i am working on myself in this season so that 2024 may look a little bit different um it's not going to be goal setting per se but it is going to highlight some of the things that i want to generally work on in 2024 um and moving forward so stay tuned for that i think that, uh i just want to close off this vlog i will see you guys on vlogmas episode bye bye for now